So, Darius Leonard has signed a five-year, $98.5 million contract with the Indianapolis Colts, making him the highest, um, I think, inside linebacker in NFL, like the highest paid inside linebacker in NFL history. I can't remember if it's inside linebacker or just linebacker in NFL history, but he's one of the highest paid linebackers in NFL history. And... Well, casual NFL fans who don't know anything about Darius Leonard or the Indianapolis Colts would tell you that he's overpaid. He is not overpaid. This is a well-deserving contract. He earns every penny that he has earned. Because um, one of the main guys that they will compare Darius Leonard to is Fred Warner. Well, Darius Leonard has... They've, they've played the same amount of seasons, but Darius Leonard has actually played two less games. Uh, or a bit, I think, yeah, two less games than Fred Warner. But Darius Leonard, in two less games, in three seasons, has gotten more interceptions, more forced fumbles, more sacks, definitely more tackles as he is um, in a club of just, I think, three, uh, I mean, two other guys to reach 400 career points tackles before uh year four so yeah he he leads in most major categories in interceptions sacks and tackles on fred warner over a career in this past season he leads him in tackles sacks i think forced fumbles but not interceptions as darius leonard's coverage has statistically took taken a step back uh since year two where he got five interceptions um but he earns it. Because, I mean, this guy went from every analyst place, you know, Bleacher Report, ESPN. Like, when the Colts drafted him, they were saying it was a terrible draft pick. They shouldn't have done it. You know, he was going to be a bust. He wasn't going to be any good. And then he goes out, wins Defensive Rookie of the Year, is an All-Pro. Next year, a Pro Bowler. And then this year, a Pro Bowler and All-Pro. He is statistically better than Fred Warner. He is awards-wise better than Fred Warner. And when you watch Darius Leonard play, he is much more electric. There is a reason he has the nickname The Maniac. I mean, I don't know about Fred Warner, but Darius Leonard is the leader of that defense on a defense with guys like Xavier Rhodes and Kenny Moore and DeForest Buckner. He's also clutch. Again, I don't know about Fred Warner, but I remember... Um, freaking, how do you pronounce that Texans wide receiver's names? TTQT or something like that? I remember him, you know, running, shoulder pads down, just about to cross the goal line to win the game, and then, boom, comes Darius Leonard, forces the fumble, Colts win the football game. He is clutch. The man is clutch, and he is a harder hitter than Fred Warner. That is evidenced by both statistics, where he has more forced fumbles, and if you watch Darius Leonard play, the guy could basically be called a human boomstick. Because you have a running back, quarterback, wide receiver, whoever running, then Darius comes along and just smack. They're dead. They should retire. They're, they're dead. It doesn't even matter. They're, they're dead. If Darius Leonard gets the right amount of speed build up on you, you would die. You would die. If you tried to go, you know, helmet to helmet with him, you would probably be the one ending up paralyzed, not Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard, he's Darius Leonard. It wouldn't happen. Darius Leonard deserves every amount of money that he has gotten from this contract. And everyone is going to continue to doubt him and doubt him and doubt him. He could, by the end of his career, won multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards. Multiple more All-Pros. Multiple more Pro Bowls. And make the Hall of Fame. And there would still be people out there saying that he is overpaid. And that Fred Warner is better. And that he's overrated. Which I don't understand how they can say that Darius Leonard is overrated when the media clearly doesn't hate, I mean, when the media clearly hates us 
and when we barely get any primetime spots, like guys that are overrated, they get hyped up by the media, they get tons of primetime spots, they always have attention on them. Darius Leonard only has attention on him when he gets awards or when he signs a contract. Never when he makes a good play, because it's not on national TV. Maybe that's the problem. The Colts have barely gotten on national TV since Darius Leonard has been on the team, and that's why everyone on this team is so underrated. You know, it's not just Darius Leonard. It's DeForest Buckner, Kenny Moore, Xavier Rhodes. Uh, even Quentin Nelson is somewhat underrated. Braden Smith. Um, Michael Pittman Jr. Mark Glowinski. Really, our, our whole offensive line. Um, Jonathan Taylor, maybe. It's really early to tell. He got, actually, a lot of attention last year. Um, because as a rookie, he was third in rushing yards this season. Um, Rodrigo Blankenship got a lot of attention, so he's not really underrated. But we have several guys on this team who are very underrated. It's not just Darius Leonard. And once all those guys get their big extensions, I know when Braden Smith got his extension, people say he was overpaid. Really, whenever anybody on this team signs an extension that is going to be worth a lot of money, He's going, they're going to be called overpaid because people are casuals and just don't know anything about the Colts. So, I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny, and if you think Darius Leonard is overpaid, you need to actually reevaluate if you're a football fan, because I don't think you watch football if you think Darius Leonard is overpaid. You're smoking crack. Like, it's been talked about for like six months at this point that he was going to be one of the highest linebackers. He was going to receive one of the highest linebacker contracts in NFL history. I guess the people have talked about it for a while now. It shouldn't really be a surprise. He's not overpaid. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. There's the 2-2. Oh, and he went too far. <laughs>